Hey, it's Lisa from Always Looking Up. Yeah, there's some things you don't know about me, but there's some things you might have guessed. Like I'm a geek, a nerd, a Trekkie wannabe. No, I've never gone to a Star Trek convention. And I don't have a Star Trek costume. So I guess you'd have to call me a tricky wannabe, okay? But I'm really excited and I had to get on YouTube and I had to make this video because I wanted to invite you to a party. Yeah. Now, if I was smart, I would have done this a long time ago and I would invite you to my house and we'd go swimming, we'd have a great time and it'd be great. But this is short notice and I, and I came up with this idea today because I'm sorry, I'm so excited, I can't stand myself. I've been waiting years for a great science fiction film to come out. And tomorrow, June 8th, starting at midnight, tonight, uh, the new film by the legendary director and creator Sir Ridley Scott, named Prometheus, is coming out. Now, reviews have already started to come in, and reviews are good. And so that, that heartened me quite a bit. So I was excited. But here's what I'm going to do. We are going to have a party all weekend long, culminating at the end with my radio show ending Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. All weekend long, because I'm going to go see the movie tomorrow during the day. All weekend long, I'm going to have people posting about the film, posting about subjects of the film. I want you to either make comments, I want you to make videos, I want you to make parodies. We're going to have all kinds of discussions. We're going to have discussions about some of the crazy uh, subjects that are going to be brought up in the movie. I mean, some of these subjects are really deep, and of course they're a little bit more exciting than the really cool pants I got at the resale shop, you know, which were actually brand new pants, which still had the tags on them from a department store. So, uh, yeah, there are subjects that are a lot more important than that to discuss on radio and Facebook and YouTube, okay? Some of the subjects that I think are going to be brought up in the film, and I believe Sir Ridley Scott talked about these things in an interview that he did with him and the co-creator of the movie, which I don't remember the man's name. Some of the subjects are like what scientific discovery found could make you not believe in God anymore? What would it take? What scientific discovery would it take to quelch your faith in God? What about the origins of mankind? What if aliens created mankind? Does that mean God couldn't have created us through the aliens that created us? Does that mean we're not created in God's image? I mean, these are really crazy deep questions. Let's do another question. What would you do? How far would you go to save mankind if you knew for a fact mankind was fixing to face total destruction? You know, as far as I know, these are questions from the film. We'll have to tweak and, and figure out these questions, you know, after seeing the film. But I love things that make you think, okay? That's just me. That's why I do a talk show on weekends, because I love debating and talking about issues. This is some pretty hefty stuff, okay? So let's get those video cameras rolling. Let's get those comments flaring. Let's go see the movie. Let's eat the popcorn. Let's get the babysitters for the kids, because this is not a movie for kids. Um, I'm going to warn you that there are some very disturbing scenes 
in this movie um, issues that have already been linked. This is not a movie for the little kids. I'm sorry. So they need to stay at home with a babysitter. Okay? So, and then of course we're going to culminate at the end on Sunday night. And we can talk about it live together, you know, uh, on the show. We can talk live as much as we want on the show. And like I said, you know, we'll talk about other stuff too. Because so much has gone on in the news this week. And of course we're going to have all those updates on the show like we always do. Okay? But I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to seeing what you've got up your sleeve and what your thoughts are. And I'll see you then. So, Vincent didn't say on last week's show what it was going to take to get him to smile. That's too bad. That means I get to choose what it is that's going to make him smile. Well, as you can see, I guess he's rubbing off on me. Because, you know, I've got to do my blog in sunglasses. Well, I've come up with a solution. When we become the top rated show on the Red State Radio Network, he's got to put up a new promo pic with a big smile. So there you have it. We will see you Sunday night. Oh, I hope this infection doesn't keep going. First the sunglasses. Then the crazy hair. When does it end?